What's up? This is the CBT Guitar Lesson with a live playthrough. Def Leppard, one of their best songs. But that's hard to say because they have so many best songs. Got the little mistake I made at the end, right? But I was just, I just rolled with it. <laughs> 
that whole thing. But anyways, had a blast doing it. These playthroughs are really, really cool. Standard tuning. Um, so at the start here, this is the melody line. You're going to go five on the G, and then seven to five G, B. So it's, and then five G. Start it over, the first three notes, and then throw a 7D on the end of the second one, then start it over again. And then this time, 7th fret G, two bends, I would back it with a couple fingers. So what I mean is, so I want you to see the consistency in, in the, the melody line, right? So we have... Then we'll do a 8B and then a 7G pre-bend release. We already have it up there. I got to be careful on this guitar because I have the cutaway, you know, on the Floyd Rose. So if I'm holding a note, say I'm going and then I do the 8B, hear how it's flat? That's because the tension on the floating tremolo, it's pulled like this. So um, I think when I play it, I went. I actually came off the seven. If you have a guitar that's just got a standard bridge, you can, you can, uh, as long as you deaden it. You know what I mean? You could pick and then it's already bent. Release it. 5G and then seven slide to nine. Seven twice. Fifth fret down, up, down. Four. And then five, pull off to four on the G. And go to the 5D. Now here's what happens in this because it ends with with the 7D you'll see in your tabs that there's parentheses around the 7 um, that's the downbeat it's the actual start of the verse so you may want to take that out I wanted to put it in there because it's in the song but we're doing this as a solo guitar right there's only one of us so uh, if you take the 7D out you can go directly into section 1 coming in at 14 seconds which is open A, 2D, and then pick the 2 again, hammer to 5, and then pick the 2D again. 3D, 5G, keep a good knuckle downward angle because we're going to go D, G, B, G. We need to be able to hear that open B. Okay, so we have this. And then just take your index, move it to 2D, keep the pinky on 5G. I know that's a little different than the, the free lesson I have on my channel, which I have the notes right, but they were different strings. I had, you know, but I, I think this is the way he's doing it. It kind of makes more sense. And especially right here, you'll go 3E, 4G, 2D, which are already there, and then back to the third fret low E. So the going into it, This was tough. 1E, 2G, and I'd use pinky on 3B. I'll, sh I'll tell you why in a second. But as far as your uh, arpeggio goes, your, your strings, you're going to go E, G, B, G, and then go uh, string numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, just fr from skinny up to the D string. So you got... Now, if you keep the pinky, if you're using your pinky instead of your third finger, all you got to do for this next chord, which is it's still a tough transition, it's a B flat. It's 3G, 3B, and 1E, but you can leave that pinky down is what I'm getting at. You don't have to do it that way, it's just a, it made sense to me. So once that's um, situated, you'll go, um, you go E, B, G, B. Say that three times, E, B, G, B. 3G, hammer to 4, and then it's a hold, hit the 3B, open E, back to the 3B. Um, the fingering on that, you know, I'm not sure what I would use, you know, I did first and second there. I think in the video I used middle and third. Doesn't really matter on stuff like that. So that's section one.
videos four times. Section 2A comes in at a minute four. We're going to switch over to distortion on this. And um, here's what's happening. 3A, 5D. And you can experiment with fingering on this too, Ray. You can use two fingers because we need the 5G as well. But go A, D, and then hit the D and G together. Slide to seven, slide back to five. If it's easier to bar that, that's fine too. Then we're going to go from that C chord up to a G. So low E string, it's going to go three, five, five and go E, A, D, A, then go to a D major, it's 5A, 7D, 7G, and go A, D, hit the D and G together, slide those to 9 and back to 7, just like we did on the C chord, right, it's just up here now, and then we end it with, I gotta go to page 3, Two. it's a B major, 2A, 4D, and 4G, and the picking is A, D, G, A. So. And then we move into section 2B, and this comes in at a minute 10. It's a C major, and I can hear that it's a fuller chord that they're doing, which I didn't know until I dissected this song. 3A, and then we need the 5th fret on the D, G, and B. I like to bar stuff like that. <clears throat> so, I'm barring with this finger. The only way around that is to cram a bunch of fingers. To me, that's more work than getting used to barring it. So, it's all, all the strings except the E strings. I'm muting string 6 here, in case I strum it on accident. And then just move up to a regular old G power chord. 3E, 5A, strum. And then palm mute the rest in triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then that's gonna go three times. Sounds like this. And then back to the C chord. Back to the G5, no palm muting. One, one, two, three, one, one. And then this exaggerated slide. You don't have a lot of room to slide. So that ending goes. And then the chorus, this is section three, comes in at a minute 23. It's five on the top string, string six. And the first fret. And then the third fret. And I would use the index finger, and you'll see why in a second down or you can the pick direction I'm gonna to leave to you it's moderate tempo so if you feel like alternating fine if you want to do downstrokes fine um, but it's your beat is what's important one um, let me see one, one two three one two three four so one three and four is your count and then go three E five D three E it's hard to hear in the mix of the song that he's doing that, but he is doing it. So it's. See. That is gonna go three times. And then um, outside of that section, I just wrote um, three little things here. It's 5E, 1E, and then the G5 power chord. And that's at 141. So now, on this part, it's 2G, I would use middle and index. We gotta bend this sucker three frets, it's got a, we're bending an A to a C. So, that's where we're headed, right? So go, bend, release. Okay, minute 47, here's our first solo. 10B, 12G, I like to back that 12G with my middle finger. It's a unison bend, two times. Now, same concept here with the floating bridge. Um, I try to disguise it, but it's gonna drop it flat. You know, it's a little below it, so Les Paul would be perfect for this, but, which is what I think he used. Um, two times, and then slide. Um, and then another unison bend. That's why you're hearing the waves. 
trying to get to the true G note there, but it's it's dropping it. And then bend the 12G and then pick the 12G vibrato it. And then 7G, pick, bend, release, bend, vibrato, hold, slide. Okay, this part's pretty cool. Um, use these fingers. Here we go. This is uh, string six, the low E. One, three, four, five. So into three A. Then this is gonna feel weird, but you gotta use your third finger now on the three A. Slide to five. To go to three D. 5D slide to 7, and then 5-4 on the G. Vibrato. And he had that real quivery, almost Angus Young style vibrato. I, I'm more accustomed to like the... But he's... Then you're back to um, some repeats, man. You're back to the... the So you have all these repeats going on until we get to page four, which is our last page. And this is the main guitar solo. 